Okay guys, so this is not so much a trick as a really important life skill. One of the things we do with our dogs is we handle them uh, in the most inappropriate way because this is not natural for dogs to be handled, look into the ears, the eyes, touch the paws. This is not something they do to each other. However, it's something that is really important that they need to get used to. And this is because if they need to go to the vet or to the groomers or somebody comes and handles them or gives them a hug or a kiss or a little kid comes over then it needs to be something that's familiar to them so that they know they're not going to get hurt so the first step with this is to teach your dog to be still so all the handling that involves grooming toweling them down brushing them and even the vet examination all I'm really telling my dog is just to stand still if you stand still you're gonna get a treat so the hardest bit is actually to get the dog to stand still once you put your hand in their head now most dogs um, get really excited when ha the hands go down onto them because a lot of people ruffle them up so make sure you don't play with your hands with your dog hands must mean really nice calm things and that's important because if a five-year-old comes over with their hands and your dog has a little nibble because it thinks it's a toy it's going to go crying to mom and dad saying that the dog is bit it and of course it hasn't so make sure hands is always nice and calm toys you can play around with toys as much as you can so what you're going to be doing is you're going to get your dog sitting and the important thing is that the dog needs to understand to stand still for the treat so my treats are going to go behind my back and i'm just going to keep this hand really still not touching the dog and if he stays still he's going to get a treat so my hand goes down again, and as long as he stays still, he's going to get a treat. Now this time I might just put my hand on the dog, and if he stays still, he gets a treat. Now this is the hardest thing. Of course, this dog already knows to stand still, so this is very easy for me. But your puppy or your young dog will not, so you just need lots and lots of patience. You can probably achieve it in about five minutes, as long as you keep that hand at the top nice and still. Don't do this, don't caress it, don't fiddle about, just nice and still, and then give them a treat. Now once you've done that, the rest is super easy because the hand will go down. I'll just wait till he eats that. There we go. The hand will go down and then you can lift an ear, give them a treat, lift another ear, give them a treat, and as long as he's standing still, he gets a treat. Now what I don't want to see is how a lot of people um, teach this is they do this, they keep feeding the dog and they do all these things to the dog and the dog actually doesn't realize what it is that it's doing for the treat. It's just thinking food, food, food. I really want to teach that dog to learn to stand still for the treat. So now that you can put your hand up, you can lift an eye as the vet will do eventually. Lift another eye and I am always giving a treat after every action. You can start to maybe lift, chop, get down, put your hands over their body and make sure they stand still. Now, you will need to look at your dog's paws quite frequently for thorns or glass or cuts or anything at all. Now, what a lot of people do is they pull the leg out and that's really, really painful for the dog. They're not made like we are, so never pull the shoulders or the back legs out. I'm going to show you what to do. I think they do this with horses. But basically, you're going to put your hand on the dog's shoulder and you're going to take the hand right down and that will allow the dog to ch shift its weight so that I can then lift that. But notice I'm not pulling it, I'm just lifting. And then after I do that, I give them a treat. And then I just repeat this loads and loads of times so that it becomes a familiar action for him. And I would do the same with the other one. Now the back legs is a little bit aversive because what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to hold the dog's tummy and then lift the back leg. So they can balance a little bit better on it. So let me just show you. You'll need to get your dog standing up. Little treat there. And then with one hand, you're holding, you're holding the waist and then you're just lifting that back leg straight out. You're not pulling it out because that's really painful. So straight out and then down. And that helps the dog just balance on its leg. And you want to do the same with the other leg, just hold on to that and then just lift it back that way and then back down that way. 
Now, your dog will want to wriggle a little bit with that one because it is a bit strange just to be held like that. But just be very gentle. Just do it once or twice a day. Give them some really high value treats. So even though it might not be very nice for them initially, they think, well, it doesn't matter. I'm going to get a nice treat. Now, in the same vein, I'm going to show you what to do about grooming and toweling your dogs down. So it, it's the same principle. If you stand still, you get a treat. So I'm just going to get a brush. When you have a brush with your puppy at first, make sure it's something soft. Don't use the slicker brushes or anything that's going to pull their hair because you want some nice associations with the brush before you start to groom them. If they think the brush means something painful, they're soon going to run away from it. So I quite like this. It's a little bit grubby because it's very old, but I start with that one with my puppy and then I move on to that one with nice soft ends to it. So it's the same principle. I show them the brush and I give them a treat so that they associate the brush with a treat and I keep it nice and still so I don't wiggle it about because I don't want them to think it's a toy. So I will have my treats behind my back. That tells them that I now want you to stand still and I will literally do one brush, one treat. As long as he stands still, one brush, one treat. One brush, one treat. Now this dog already knows this and so I can now start to move it up a little bit more and I can do several brushes. He knows to stand still for this. I can do it a little bit on the back legs. They don't like the back legs done on the little feathers here. That way, and then he gets a treat. And notice I'm not restraining the dog. The dog, if he wanted to move away, he can. Um, but because I've trained him that if he just stands there and I'm being very gentle with him, he gets some really nice treats, then he's quite happy with that. Same thing with the towel. I start off with a little puppy, a nice little um, hand towel, a kitchen towel, or anything like that. Nice and small so that it's not flapping about, because if it flaps about, they're going to want to bite it. So I just keep it that, that sort of um, size. And again, I show it to them, give them a treat, show them to them, give them a treat so that they know this is happening. And again, take a handful of treats, put them behind your back, and I'll start with one touch, he stands still, and then he gets a treat. One rub, gets a treat, and build it up a little bit. Don't ruffle up your dog too much, because if you start to do this, it's gonna want to bite the towel. So just make this a nice, calm exercise, and give your dog a chance to get the treats and win. Keep it nice and calm. Of course, if you do this enough times, you'll be able to ruffle your dog up, no problem at all, and you can see this dog, no matter how much I ruffle him, he stands still for a treat. So I hope you can achieve that. That's really, really important. It looks very, very impressive. And not only that, it's really nice for the dog to have a choice to move or to stand still without being pinned or restrained or held back, which is just going to build up much more stress to the whole situation. So give that a go. And no matter where you get to, do show me how you get on. Bye for now.